With the recent surge in popularity of the Wii U, I thought I would share my top 10 most useful homebrew apps and plugins. If you're new to the scene, the latest version of Wii U custom firmware is Aroma, created by Machelle, and it allows you to unlock the full potential of your console. And remember, a homebrew app will show up on your Wii U menu as a web file, whereas a plugin is basically built into the Wii U after installed. You can access the plugin configuration menu by pressing the left bumper down on the D-pad and minus all at the same time. Without further delay, coming in at number 10 is going to be the plugin Give Me YouTube. And you guessed it, it gives you YouTube back. Services for the YouTube app on Wii U were discontinued on October 27, 2022, but a well-versed developer named Gary Odenich said watch this and went ahead and made a plugin that bypassed the 404 error you would get while loading the app. It basically tricks the Wii U into thinking that YouTube still works. You can even still use the QR code to sign in using your phone. Now you do need to make sure you have the latest version of YouTube in order for this to work because the older versions do not work with this plugin. But you're in luck, I do have a video with a download and explaining how to set it up. Yeah, ads suck, but it's a free way to help support your favorite creators. But there you go, you're navigating YouTube with your gamepad on your Wii U. Pretty cool. Next up on the list, number 9, Wii U Shell. This is a homebrew app that gives you access to your SD card directly on your Wii U. It is a great tool when you want to clean up your SD card or move a misplaced folder. The list of features include the ability to copy, move, delete, rename, and create folders. You can display your file size, you can view images, and even extract zip files. Although I haven't personally tried that yet. I did use this app, however, to delete many old homebrew apps that are not supported on the Aroma environment in order to clean up my Wii U menu. So if you hate taking your SD card out to fix up your SD card, then this is a great app to use. Coming in at number eight is the app WUD. This stands for Wii U Disk Dumper. We all know that Nintendo's biggest fear with homebrew is pirating games. Even though they don't make money from Wii U games anymore, but you know, that's, that's fine. But none of us ever have to risk pirating as long as this app exists. It is a homebrew app that allows you to turn your physical copies of games into digital files, allowing you to play them on your Wii U without the actual disc. You can even use the dumped copies on your Simu emulator on your PC. WUD gives you the option to dump your game in three different formats, WUX or WUD, which can be used on Simu, and the third option being as a .app file, which can be installed to your Wii U menu. If you're unsure how to install them to your Wii U menu, keep watching the video because that is coming up later. And along with backing up your discs, you can also back up your updates and DLC for that disc as well. And that brings us to number seven on the list, the Environment Swap app. At this point, Aroma is obviously the latest homebrew environment after replacing its predecessor Tiramisu, but you can actually have both environments set up on your SD card at the same time. The Environment Swapper app allows you to easily switch between the two environments. Normally, if you wanted to switch environments, you'd have to turn your Wii U off and then turn it back on while holding the X button on your gamepad to get to the environment loader where you can then choose which environment to load into. So this homebrew app streamlines the process by switching environments with the click of a single button. An important thing to know while switching environments, if you are switching to Tiramisu, it will automatically load the homebrew launcher, but if you would prefer to load the Wii U menu on Tiramisu, you need to hold B while loading it from Aroma. Coming in at number six is Bloop Air. This is a plugin and an app that gives you the ability to connect up to seven controllers wirelessly using Bluetooth that comes with rumble support and a battery level indicator. We're talking like Switch Pro controllers, Joy-Cons, the online SNES or N64 controllers, Xbox One, and Sony DualShock 4 controllers. It is literally so easy to use because once you have the plugin installed, you simply connect your desired controller the same way you'd connect a Wii remote. But if you want to connect a DualShock 3 controller, you have to head into the actual app and use a USB cable and follow those instructions. Just for the initial connection, once that's done, you can use it as any other Bluetooth controller. Personally, I have a third-party Switch Pro controller that is fantastic to use on my Wii U, especially for Mario Kart 8, and my Xbox One controller usually takes a little longer to connect, but still works awesome. Number five on the list is Save Me. Save Me is a very useful homebrew app that gives you access to backing up and restoring your save data from your Wii U 
and your virtual Wii. One of the best uses would be to download a 100% save file on your computer for your correct region of course and restore it to your Wii U so you can unlock everything in games that you want to play online. I have certainly done this for Mario Kart 8 generations so that when I play online with viewers while I stream I can play as Funky Kong. Another use for Save Me is to transfer save data to and from different accounts on your Wii U and you can also transfer it to a completely different Wii U or to your PC to use on Simu or Dolphin. So this one is a definite must have. Coming in at number 4 is SD Caffeine, which is a top tier plugin created for the Wii U which allows you to mod your Wii U games along with setting up custom Wii U menu themes. Some popular mods include Cloudy, Super Mario Bros U2, or The Floor is Lava, or there is online compatible mods like Mario Kart 8 Generations that adds custom tracks and characters. There are tons of fan created mods on GameBanana.com where you can set up and play on your Wii U because of this plugin. On previous homebrew environments, SD Caffeine was an app that you had to load before any game in order to play mod, but with Aroma, all you have to do is install the plugin, add your mods, and load up your game. It will bring you to a screen that allows you to select which mod pack you want to play, and it'll also give you the option to load the vanilla version of the game. It will work with a disc or a digital version of your game, and of course, I do have a video on how to set up mods linked in the description if you haven't set any up yet. Going down the list, number three is WUP Installer GX2. This is probably one of the most useful apps to have on your modded Wii U. That's because without it, you wouldn't be able to play any digital games. WUP Installer GX2 allows you to install any content to your Wii U. The most important, of course, being games, but it can also install updates, DLC, and channels. There are many ways to get games, but no matter which way you get them, you will need to install them with this app. It's very simple to use since all you have to do is place the installable files into a folder called install and then load the app up and install it. It is suggested that you have a external hard drive set up to your Wii U so that you can install the games to it. When I say games, you might be thinking Wii U games, but you are also able to install Wii, GameCube, N64, SNES, DS games, and basically anything you can think of before the Wii U. Your modded Wii U is not complete without this awesome homebrew app. Coming in at number two on the list is one of the absolute best plugins. This would be the Inke plugin for Pretendo. And if you've not heard of Pretendo, let me enlighten you. It was huge news when Nintendo discontinued the use of Wii U and 3DS servers back in April 2024. And while the Wii U's online scene is not massive, there were still tons of people upset. That's where Pretendo comes in. It is a replacement service which hosts their own online servers for free so that anyone can enjoy playing games online again. All you have to do is install the plugin and create your very own Pretendo network ID, which can be done all directly on your console or using the Pretendo website. That's it. Once you have your PNID set up, all you have to do is load up a game that's supported, like Mario Kart 8, and play online as if nothing has changed. Pretendo even brings back the full usage of Miiverse, so as long as you can connect your Wii U to the internet, the Pretendo Inkay plugin is another must-have. And now it's time for the absolute best homebrew app you can have on your modded Wii U. Coming in at the number one spot is the Homebrew App Store. It's pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to download anything related to homebrew directly on your Wii U. So every single app or plugin mentioned in this video, you can simply turn your console on, load up the homebrew app store and download it straight to your Wii U. You don't even have to touch your SD card, which is fantastic. Along with apps or plugins, you can even get fan-made games like Flappy Bird, all with the click of a button. While it's not technically a necessity to have, since you could just unplug your SD card from your Wii U, put it in your PC, search up the app, extract the file, load it into the SD card with the proper setup, you don't have to do any of that. It saves you a lot of time and also gives you the ability to get the updated versions of apps or plugins seamlessly. So there you have it guys, that is my top 10 list of the most essential Wii U homebrew apps and plugins that you need on your mod console in 2024. There are many other useful apps and plugins that didn't make it onto the list, and if you think I'm missing some, let me know which app or plugin should have made the top 10. I, of course, make many homebrew guides on how to set things up and how to use them, so be sure to keep an eye out for future videos, especially if new apps are developed. Thank you for watching guys, and big shout out to all of the homebrew developers that created the apps in the video. 
They of course wouldn't exist without them. I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments, and as always, stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>